Well, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, it's the first time that Garden's going to see it. So that'll be exciting. Very get, exciting, yes. To get your reaction afterwards. Absolutely. It means it's my name and that's what you call me. Are you making fun of me? Just wonder what your name means, that's all. Can a person not wonder what a name means? <laughs> well, what does Ashley mean? A dream. <laughs> really? It means that? In Irish it does. Sometimes when I'm in trouble, Mom will say, You're not a dream, Ashley, you're a nightmare. <laughs> it was Maeve's first novel. Yeah. And, um, she really hit the ground running with it, I think. You know, it's a brilliant story. Yeah, absolutely. And as you say, friendship is, is very much yeah, the, yeah. the key to it. And, the and it's wonderful the way it develops yeah. and the explanations, as you say, of, yeah. particularly of religion. I mean, so, so, it's so cracked. Yeah. You know, it's weird ideas. Why are you excommunicating before you even get in? Ex a good Catholic is always obedient. Most Irish people wanted to be part of the world, you know, and she captures that brilliantly in the story. That sense of that belonging is not just about home, but belonging can be about having a friend in England and going over and helping her. And then you get that wonderful story of the two of them wondering what they're going to do about the pregnancy that the girl finds herself in. Yeah. I mean, it must have been 40 years ahead of its time. That's right. I mean, Maeve dealt with a lot of themes which mm. uh, have since been. Um, you know, the, much to the fore, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, she was a bit ahead of her time in that yeah, sense, yeah. dealing with modern issues yeah. and modern dilemmas, you yeah, know. Yeah. But she has that wonderful sense too, that she never forgets the humorous aspect of, like in any given situation, there's humour, there's fun, there's quirky, off-beast yeah. ways of looking at the world, you know, yeah. no matter how difficult it is. And throughout the play, you have this wonderful concept of Ashling communicating with God, even though she has told us she doesn't believe in God anymore. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Yet right. she continues to pray to God and have this ongoing argument and debate with him about what he should be doing as against what she feels she has to do. That's right. So you've got that lovely tug. And all, and then, all, all these explanations of what limbo is. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Wonderful. Which are all crazy. Do you believe in the creation of heaven and earth? So we're opening in Limerick on the 9th of April, we had three nights there, and then the following week we're in the Everyman in Cork for five nights. So looking forward to both those venues, Gordon. Ah, so am I, yes, yeah. I'll be alone at both of them. Yeah. All right.